Hey everybody, welcome to class. For today's lesson, we're going to be working into the shoulders with a gentle yet comprehensive mobility flow. So whether you've been going hard at the gym to build those bolder shoulders, or if you just work at a desk and you wanna loosen up and feel good, this is the class for you. You will need one prop for today's class. I will be using a yoga strap, though if you don't have a yoga strap on hand, a belt or even a men's tie would work just fine as we will be using it for an exercise called shoulder flossing, which I think is just the cutest name. You know, you floss your teeth to stay healthy, so why not floss your shoulders? If you enjoy this class, then it would really mean a lot if you took a moment out to smash that like button down below. It really helps support the channel and works to show this kind of content to other people here on YouTube. Other people who might also want to give some love to their shoulders. And while you're down there hitting the like button, why not also subscribe? It's right next to it. Join the family. I upload new videos every single week. All right, without further ado, let's get into the shoulders. Okay, so we're gonna start seated on heels as I am. Though if your ankles aren't really feeling this pose, you can also do this next sequence kneeling or even standing. So finding the strap or belt or tie that you had around the house, we're gonna start with a few rounds of the shoulder flossing. So grabbing your strap much wider than your shoulders to start, hands facing down. You're gonna to work to pull your ribs in, so keeping a neutral spine, just taking the strap all the way around and back to the front. So the goal here is to keep your arms as straight as you can and try to have them on the same page so that one arm is not <laughs> leading. <laughs> and um, if you find that you need to bend your elbows to get around, just widen your grip on the strap. And conversely, if you find that it's too easy, narrow the grip. So keep breathing here for five, four, three, two, one, then taking it around the world to the right. So again, arms straight coming all the way down and then over to the left for five, Big circle. Four. Three. Two. One. And switching to the left. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Voila, good. You can throw the strap off or <laughs> gently place it off to the side. And then this one takes a little bit of coordination. So <laughs> we're gonna move the arms in opposite directions. So what I suggest you do is start with one arm going front to back or back to front. And then you're gonna work to bring Wait, <laughs> back to front? Yes, there we go. This is more about breaking the patterns and just bringing awareness to how our shoulders move. So keep it going with whatever way you started for about five, four, three, two, one. And then getting the other arm started again, front to back, back to front for <laughs> doing the other side. If coordination is not, can't tell if I'm going the same way or not. It doesn't really matter. It's just about, again, trying to cross those pathways and break movement patterns. For five, four, three, two, one. If coordination is just not happening for you today, don't worry at all, you can do five, in the same direction, front to back, and then reverse it. Okay, good. So coming, actually staying on your heels, or again, if your heels are going a little bit numb, you can rise up onto your knees. We're gonna inhale to reach the arms up and then push the belly forward, cactus in the arms back and down, lifting the chest. 
And then exhale, pulls the arms forward, rounding the spine. For six, inhale. Exhale, round. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, good. Coming into your all fours position or your tabletop with your knees stacked just below your hips and your hands below your shoulders, spreading your fingers wide. We're gonna work on something here called scapular retraction and protraction. So in my classes, I like to have the analogy of a blueberry on your back because that's something everyone can relate to, right? That's, you find yourself often in that position, but you can use, imagine a blueberry or a pencil just that something you have, something uh, that you have, imagine you have something on your back between your shoulder blades that you want to try to pinch. So, whatever you chose in your mind, keeping your back straight and your arms straight, you're just gonna push your chest towards the floor to bring your shoulder blades as close as you can towards one another. Imagine squeezing the blueberry or that pencil, and then again, arms straight, back straight. Exhale, push the floor away, retract the shoulders, rather protract the shoulder, so blueberry slides off the back. Keep it going for six. Inhale, squeezes the shoulder blades together. Exhale, push the floor away. Five. Don't worry about how deep you go or how much mobility you have here in your shoulders. It's more just about bringing awareness to that area of the body. Isolating your scapula here, your shoulder blades. Four. Three, two, one. Good, keeping your left hand down, inhale, to reach the right arm up towards the sky. Keeping the hand stacked over the shoulder so that you're opening through the shoulder rather than having your hand reach back too far. And then exhale, gently thread the needle, Left hand, right hand reaches over towards the left. For six, inhale to open. Exhale, twist. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhale once more to reach it up. And then bringing the right hand down, keeping the shoulders squared, we're gonna swing the right hand back towards the right leg and then keep the arm going in a big circle all around the top of the mat and again back. So trying to keep both shoulders square to the top of the mat here as you take your arm in a circle. For four, three, two, one, and then switching the direction. Four, three, two, one. Good, and switching. So left side, thread the needle. Inhale to reach the left arm up towards the sky. And exhale to twist. For six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Inhale once more to reach it up. And then left hand down again, shoulders squared to the front, taking it all the way back and then around. For five, four, Three, two, one, and then switching the direction. Four, three, two, one. Good, sitting back on your heels, or again up in a kneeling position. So we worked 
retraction and protraction of the shoulder blades. Now we want to work depression and elevation. So reaching your arms up, again, pulling the ribs in to try to keep the back as neutral as possible. We're gonna work to slide the shoulder blades down the back. And then like you're raising the roof, like we're in a 90s club, push the hands up towards the sky. So inhale, shoulders draw down the back. Exhale, reach the arms up as high as you can for six. Inhale, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Go ahead and release them down. Just two more moves here. Arms parallel to the floor. We're gonna work to in externally rotate the right shoulder, so the right hand, as you lean towards the right. So imagine opening the palm up towards the ceiling as you close the left hand. So internally rotating left shoulder, reaching towards the, side, the right side, and then switching. So internally rotating, closing the right palm, opening left for 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Start it on the right, so one more to the left. Go ahead, release them down, give them a shake. Last move, internal rotation of the shoulders. So. I like to call this position hangman because it kind of looks like that game. You're gonna bring our robot arms, elbows up as close as you can in line with the shoulders, and then back straight. You're gonna pull the hands away from your body as you work to draw them towards one another behind the back. So I don't know which angle is best. So on your exhale, hands pull down and away, reaching them for one another as you keep them pulling away from the back as close as you can, reaching towards opposite elbows. And then inhale to rise back up to your hangman. Exhale, this time opposite hand crosses in front. Seven. Keep it going, alternating which hand is closer to the body. Six. If you're here, also fine. Five. Just go with your range. Four. Three. Again, keep pulling them away from the body. Two. And one. Release. Ha oh, ha, you can start to feel it gets spicy quite quick. But that is all for today's class. I will leave all of the names of the exercises in the description box below in case you want to print screen it and take it to the gym with you or just use it separately on a day when, as I said in the intro, when you feel like your shoulders need a little bit more loving. Thank you all so much for joining. I'm wishing you a beautiful rest of your day and very healthy and mobile shoulders. And if you have any requests for future videos, I am very open to receiving them. So just drop them in the comments down below and I will meet you all down there. Thank you again and I'll catch you back here very soon. Ciao guys.